My name is uh, Cedric Linertz. I'm 24. Uh, I'm coming from Belgium and I study here in the UCL in Louvain-la-Neuve and especially at the Louvain School of Management. Um, in my year in the US uh, is divided in two parts. The first uh, is an exchange, an academic exchange in the university, uh, in the University of Minnesota uh, at the Carlson School of Management and my internship was uh, made in the um, in the representative office uh, in New York of Euroclick Bank, which is uh, a Belgium company working in the post-trade finance sector. Well, the, the, the both semesters were uh, part of my degree here in Belgium, so it was part of my last year uh, to get my degree, and uh, the application process was only internal to the university here in Belgium. So basically, I, uh, we every student uh, in management uh, had to choose between like more than 150 universities in the world uh, and around like 15, 20 in the United States. So basically I really wanted to go to the United States. That was my dream. Uh, I went there like I was 11 years old and I fell in love with the country, with the culture, with the sports, with everything. So when I looked at the list and I saw, all right, there's 15, 20 universities in the United States, I'm gonna apply for those 15, 20. Then I looked around on the website of the university and uh, I asked people who went to those universities before me and I understand that University of Minnesota was the best choice for me because uh, they were like a big city, a huge campus with more than 50,000 students there. Uh, every sport uh, are represented in the city so basically I, I looked around I also the rankings of the, the business school and stuff so I looked the education part and also the fun part for the, this exchange and, uh, and the best choice was the University of Minnesota. Uh, the other part for the internship, the application process was also purely internal f in the university in Belgium. So uh, I didn't know exactly what are the difficulties to enter in a university in the US when you were not part of this kind of program. Uh, I, I guess there is uh, some, uh, some help, but uh, it could be much harder to get uh, uh, to, to have a place in those universities if you are not supported or backed up like I was uh, by, my, my, by my own university. So uh, when, I, when I get this choice from my university, I just send my application form to uh, Minnesota and they said yes, of course, because it was backed up by, uh, by, Bel by the Belgium University. So, but. Um, for the for the for the internship it was kind of the same uh, application internal and then uh, some interviews in the company of course because they wanted to choose which uh, person they're gonna get uh, and uh, New York was also my first choice as Minneapolis I got, I got lucky two times <laughs> last year and uh, thanks to that I spent like one of the best year ever I guess in my small life for the <laughs> moment. <laughs> Well, I understand that now I want an international career and uh, an international life. I was, uh, before, before I, I went there, I was just thinking about, okay, I'm, I'm going to end my degree and I'm going to get a job in Belgium and then live my life here in Belgium without knowing that there, is, there are other places that may be better to live. So I understand that the United States is one of the best places for me <laughs> because I, f I feel great when, I was, uh, when I'm there and I feel lucky and I feel happy. So. Uh, yeah, I think now if every international possibility I can get, I'm going to take it right away without any thinking or, and not especially in the United States. Of course, this country uh, stays the first for me for the moment, but I think that if there are other possibilities in other countries, I will say yes, because this is something you, you understand when you leave abroad, when you meet people from abroad and uh, you discuss, you, you, you understand that there, there is different cultures and it's very, very interesting to, to, to talk with these people, to study with these people, to work wi with these people. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a small question myself, <laughs> uh, very small, not enough for a year in the United States. New York is very expensive, yeah. uh, Minneapolis is not that expensive, but you know, when you're there, you, you want to do any, anything possible. So, uh, well, my parents helped me a little bit, and I didn't get a grant uh, because of my fault. I didn't apply for any. So I looked after now, and you know, I'm still paying back my parents today. <laughs> so it's not as uh, easy as it could be if uh, if I think I, I've uh, I had applied for a grant or something like that. I didn't check any anything. So. 
uh, it's my fault. But I think there is a lot of possibilities, especially this uh, this institution now, or uh, I think in others. Uh, even maybe universities can help here in Belgium to uh, to help you go uh, go back in the U.S. But uh, yeah, I think you have to be prepared that studying in the United States uh, costs a lot of money. Uh, it's very expensive. Uh, the, the, the the cost in the university for the classes and even the, 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 the fees for, for applying there, it's very expensive. Mm. Uh, and in New York, uh, fortunately, the, the company uh, provided me with the housing. So that was a huge saving for me because New York is kind of very expensive on that side. And on the living side, it was kind of this a, little bit a little bit more expensive than here, but I had, to be, I had to live here or there, it's kind of the same. So. Uh, but yeah, if I have to sum summarize the, the idea of financing the U.S., it's it's expensive because there is a lot of stuff to do, and you won't do anything you can uh, in the short period of time you have there. You have to look all the all the possibilities you have, uh, because there is a, a lot of. Uh, universities available for Belgian students. Of course, there is a ca like a small groups of universities that you can get because it's uh, too high in the rankings and stuff. Uh, but uh, when, when you, I, th I think when you when you are in the, the university, it's not that complicated when you are there. Mm -hmm. the, the, the the most difficult part is really to to have the application form fill in and then approved by the university. And one, once once you have that. Uh, everything is very easy there because they help you in the process and uh, and people there are very kind in any any level in uh, as a, like in the university or in the city the other stud other students or the co-worker if you are in internship uh, the people in the streets it's amazing when you look at this compared to here in Belgium uh, the difference you can have from uh, from people there but um, uh, any advice I think if if they want to do it, uh, maybe if the process is kind of complicated with the visa and stuff, you know, it could take a long time and a lot of forms, a lot of papers to to provide, a lot of forms to fill in. But I think it's worth it a lot because this experience is, like I said before, is one of the best of my life. And uh, I, if I have, if I could get, uh, if I could do it once again, I'll do it for sure. There, there are a lot. Uh, there are a lot because uh, I, I did a lot of things. Uh, I, I, I studied there. It was was great to understand and to see another perspective from my field of study and to see another perspective in in another country, another another university. Uh, I also do a lot of parties for, of course, in sports. I, I, I love American sports: baseball, football, basketball, and and I watch like. I, I went ten times or eleven times to the stadium because I was a huge fan of those. And uh, yeah, I think there there is a lot of stuff I can I could say about the, the United States, and I I couldn't I couldn't summarize in a, uh, in one or two things. <laughs> uh, studying and working uh, in the United States made me realize how much I love this country and uh, how hard uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna work to go back there again. Le fait d'avoir étudié et travaillé aux états unis m'a fait comprendre au combien j'aime ce pays et que je vais tout faire dans l'avenir pour y retourner quoi qu'il arrive.